One week of the preseason is in the books, and a lot of fantasy owners are thinking, wait, what does that mean? Why was he out there? Why was he in bubble wrap on the sideline? They're saying, WTF? What the fantasy? So oh! Some things to go over. Numero uno, a buzzy name in the fantasy community, and just for NFL fans, is Tony Pollard. Yes, he was out there. Really limited usage for the rookie. He was out there on the opening drive, four carries, just 16 yards, and then... See you, Tony. We're going to put you in bubble tape and put you, put bubble wrap and put you in bubble tape. Great gum from the 90s. Oh, I loved it. It's all chalky, delicious. Uh, I'm looking at this in a positive way. I'm reading this as a sign that they know how important this rookie is out of Memphis, the third rounder, if Zeke doesn't get worked out. And let's not pretend this kid doesn't have talent. 6.8 yards per carry at his last year in Memphis, and he can catch. This is one of the best insurance policies you can get in your fantasy draft. He's going in the last round. And because he's this Alvin Kamara versus type weapon. I think that as an all-purpose back behind that offensive line, that Kellen Moore might use him anyway, even if Zeke does come back. So if you can get him in the 16th round mm. or not undrafted in your league, go ahead and scoop him up. All right. Another running back situation is this Philip Lindsay versus Royce Freeman. Full out committee. What the fantasy do you do with this? Royce Freeman breaking off a heck of a run up the gut against the Seahawks. Bursting up the middle, he breaks into the open field and has a huge gain. So Lindsay finished the day, guys, with five touches for 19 yards. Royce, four for 50. Lindsay's not in the top 12 for me. He is not an RB1. He is going as an RB2 22nd on NFL.com. I think this fa that's fair. Total timeshare. Lindsay and Royce, feel free to draft Freeman at a discount. He's going right now outside the top 30 at running backs. He's bigger. I think he could have more carries, potential goal line work. This is the guy that's a value, not Philip Lindsay. On to another backfield situation. Duke Johnson is added via trade. I'm looking for chemistry here. You guys know this as well as I do. Deshaun Watson isn't one to really check down and throw to his running backs. It's not really what he does. But I think that getting the ball out quickly to a pass-catching RB is probably a nice little remedy for this team's protection issues of Deshaun Watson and how often he got sacked last year. We know QT is out for now. We've seen Duke line up as a receiver in the past, so I'd be surprised if we didn't see that continue down in Houston. They obviously got him for a reason. I'm excited about him, and he's going outside the top 50 at running back behind guys like Damian Harris of New England and that headache up there, and Deion Lewis. I think he's going to start moving up draft boards, so get him at a discount while you can if your drafts are in the coming weeks. This guy's a stud. He's that dude. His name's David Montgomery. Fantasy yeah. community loves him. He is a darling, and he finally lived up to the hype. I was worried about it. He's going to go out there and not be what we think he is, but he was elusive. I mean, he should get a point per broken tackle, I think. Mm -hmm. He has acceleration, and he is drawing comparisons. I'm not even the only one that loves him. Take a look at Matt Forte and what he tweeted after he saw his performance on Thursday night, saying, can't coach vision. You can have all the measurables, but it's important to set up blocks and create plays at running back, and that's what it seems like Montgomery can do. Yeah, I believe what Matt Forte has to say about him, and I will take him happily as an RB2, looking at where he's ranked right now. I like where he's going. Do I like him more than Kenyon Drake? Yes, I like him over Chris Carson and James White as well. This is a steal at the running back position right now. Okay, moving on to a wide receiver. I know Nate Burleson loves James James Washington. Oh, yeah. He turned it up, <laughs> catching four for 84 and a touchdown on five targets. It's a tricky one for me because I've seen this before. Last year, preseason, week one as a rookie, brilliant showing. He had over 100 yards, and then he caught 16 of 38 targets the rest of the year. This is a different situation. AB is gone, and so are 168 targets. There's a lot of reports that are positive about James Washington, but if you look at the ranking, I don't love where he's going. I think he's going a little bit high. Most notably because Dante Moncrief is going way down at 62 among wide receivers. I would take Dante Moncrief over every guy on this list. There is a reason that Moncrief wasn't on the field in the first preseason game because I think he's locked up that number two job. He's healthy and he's got Big Ben's trust already. So Moncrief over James Washington, but keep your eye on him for the rest of the preseason. All right. Last but not least, Peter Schrager loves this guy and so do I. Jalen Hurd. He caught three passes for 31 yards and two touchdowns. Trent Taylor is injured. We could be seeing a lot of Jalen Hurd in the slot. Could this be the number one receiving option? Could he get the number one uh, just volume of targets in this offense outside of George Kittle for San Francisco? Yes, and he's going undrafted right now. So keep your eye on Jalen Hurd as a bit of a sleeper and tweet your fantasy questions at GMFB. There we go. What do you guys think? Nice All right. Well done. Well done. Still Jaylen thinking Hurd. about that Royce Freeman run. You know what I think? I think Philip Lindsay would have scored. Whoa! <laughs> Did you watch Philip Lindsay doing that game?
Yeah, yeah I didn't put on a show. That, but it's a not? good competition. That's true. I think it'll be a split backfield from here on out. NFL Fantasy is back. You can sign up at NFL.com slash fantasy or download the NFL Fantasy app in your app store today. It's here, guys. Fantasy football. Let's talk tackles. Okay. How many tackles did he have, guys? Oh, this was awesome. Trey, you loved this. Did this hit the group check, Shane? Devin Bush was a machine on Friday night. Every single play, he was flying. I can't wait to talk about this. The rush is already He's ready. First, first thing out of the gates. And we thought the Cowboy running backs would tear it up. How did that work out? Eh, they did all right. They got well. Wobble wobble. They're I. Zeke is running in the sand, getting ready for it.